Welcome to the final hour of Sentimental Journey, where we're going to feature the music of composer and arranger Louis Levy, who worked extensively in English motion pictures, particularly for the Gaumont British organisation. All the music you'll hear in this hour was kindly sent to us by one of our regular listeners, Mr Noel Macmillan, an avid collector who lives in Sydney. The Gaumont British Picture Corporation was a major producer of movies, starting in the late 20s and being responsible for some major successes, including the best of Alfred Hitchcock's early films, for instance, The Man Who Knew Too Much, 1934, The 39 Steps, 1935, and Sabotage, 1936. Other box office draws were films like Evergreen, starring Jesse Matthews, and Bulldog Jack, with Jack and Claude Hulbert. The company had its heyday in the 30s, and that's the period we'll concentrate on tonight. Here's one of the most famous pieces of music associated with Gaumont British. <laughs> In Britain, Gaumont British maintained an important cinema chain and the newsreel, Gaumont British News, continued to appear regularly in those cinemas and around the world up until 1959. Each one was begun with that music composed by Louis Levy. The story goes that he wrote the tune while stuck in a traffic jam watching the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. It was chosen as the ideal piece of music to represent Gaumont News and the spirit of the empire. Louis Levy used it himself as an introduction and closing theme for many of his own recordings made during the 30s and 40s. And so, who was this man, Louis Levy, and how did he come to write music for films? Well, he learned the violin while still at school, managing to pay for his tuition from one of his masters at a penny halfpenny a lesson or threepence for two. When he left school, this training got him jobs in the pit orchestras of many of the picture palaces, and he was soon first violinist at the New Gallery Cinema in London's Regent Street. By 1926, Louis Levy found himself president of the Cinema Music Directors Association, and with the arrival of sound films, he was in on the ground floor, so to speak, at Gaumont British. Here is Louis Levy conducting the Gaumont British Dance Orchestra. The tune is... The Savage in Me, composed by Sam Coslow for a film Oh Daddy, a romantic comedy where a purity league lord is led astray by a showgirl, who turns out to be his stepdaughter. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sam Coslow's The Savage in Me, played by Louis Levy and the Gaumont British Dance Orchestra, from a movie called Oh Daddy, which comes from 1935. Two years after that, 37, saw Louis Levy working on the film Head Over Heels, starring Jesse Matthews. By this time, he'd established his musical trademark of having the string section take the descant part. What do you mean, what do I mean? You'll see, as you listen to this song from the film Head Over Heels, called There's That Look In Your Eyes Again. The vocal is by Janet Lind. They say you don't, and one minute they say you do. There's that look in your eyes again. Mm-hmm. Kissed you for you. Mm-hmm. Afraid I'll get a surprise again. First they tell me that it's to be, then they tell me that it's to boo. Try to make your mind up. Tell me if you can. How am I to wind up? Oh, will I be the winner or an old so ran? Now there's that look in your eyes again. Teasing that all. Mm-hmm. Start me up in the skies again. Yes, and baby, watch the sense. You keep me in suspense. You take me up to heaven, then you let me fall. example of the sort of film music that was around in the mid-30s. A song called There's That Look On Your Eyes Again from Head Over Heels. The singer, Janet Lind. And that music is sort of flirty but innocent. Another fine example of the Levy style is this instrumental medley of songs made famous in Walt Disney productions. I wonder how many of the melodies you can remember. <laughs> Thank you. 
Disney medley leading up to Snow White. During the 1930s, Louis Levy was firmly ensconced at Gaumont British Films and was composing scores for many of their productions, as well as conducting the Gaumont British Symphony Orchestra on their sound stages. Away from the studios, he still found time to record other people's music, usually selections from films like this one, which he gave a more of a dance arrangement. The song is called From One Minute to Another, and it comes from the 1935 British Dominion film, Come Out of the Pantry. It features some fine solo trumpet work, and I'm sorry to say, an unnamed vocalist. <laughs> Where I really stand with you 
I find you change your mind about a thousand times a day. And I'm a monkey's uncle if I know just what to say. From one minute to another. You give me a date, then give me the gates. You're keeping me up a tree. Now do you or don't you really care for me? was a prolific recording period for Louis Levy. Here he is conducting the Gaumont British Symphony, playing selections from the Gaumont British film Sparkles, with uh, Janet Lind and Jerry Fitzgerald taking the vocals.
have this fascination that draws me to your arms tonight, dear. Stars or no stars, I'd still have the same temptation to steal a kiss or two tonight, dear. I never am fooled by the moon or stars above. I'm ruled by this heart that says I love you. Moon or no moon, I'd still feel the same sensation as long as I knew that wonderful you were mine. on British Symphony in a selection called Sparkles. As we've heard earlier, Louis Levy didn't confine himself solely to selections from British films. Here's a selection from RKO's Radio City Rebels. As you can hear, it has that Louis Levy sound and top quality musicianship.
again here in heaven And may your dreams be just as sweet as you are Good night, angel Good Music from the 1938 RKO production, Radio City Rebels. Another RKO film at that time was The Girl from Paris, starring Lily Pons, Jean Raymond and Lucille Ball. It was a pleasant musical about an opera star who leaves her fiancé at the altar to join a band in America. Louis Levy must have liked it because he had the Gaumont British Symphony record a selection of the film's top tunes. By this time, he was able to pick and choose the musicians he wanted to play for him and was regarded as one of the top orchestra leaders of his day. Not bad going for a boy who learned violin for a penny apenny a lesson. Thank you. 
Music from a film called That Girl from Paris, starring Lily Pons, Jean Raymond and Lucille Ball. Now here's a bright and lively selection from the Gaumont British film Take My Tip, released in 1937 and starring Jack Hulbert and Cicely Courtenage. The film was a musical with a rather, a rather unlikely but nevertheless humorous plot. A lord and his lady catch a swindler while acting as servants in their rich butler's hotel. Here's Louis Levy in the orchestra.
written out of a movie released in 1936. It was called This'll Make You Whistle, and it starred Jack Buchanan and Elsie Randolph. Louis Levy and the Gaumont British Symphony play a selection from the film with a very upper-crust young man on vocals. Unfortunately, he's unnamed on the record label, but the music has got that distinctive Levy sound. On a tree, the bottom of the sea, but there isn't any limit to my love for you. A bird can fly in the sky just so high, no more, no more, no more. A falling star can fall so far, just so far, no more, no more, no more. There's a limit. To the minutes in an hour The colors in a flower The raindrops in a shower But there isn't any limit to my love For you
Bound to make you whistle Start you off a Monday and right through the Sunday Is bound to make you whistle all the time If you've finished whistling, here's a novelty number. It comes from a film called London Melody, and it's called Jingle of the Jungle. By the end of the 40s, Govan British had pretty well collapsed as a production company. It was eventually absorbed into the rank organisation where, apart from the Govan British News, the name all but disappeared. So that's the story of Govan and one of its leading contributors of music, Louis Levy. Thanks to our old friend Noel Macmillan for this Louis Levy material from his collection. Having begun this hour with a fanfare, it's only proper that we should close the segment with another one. It's a tribute to a man who led one of the greatest British show bands of the 30s and 40s and brought happiness to many listeners, moviegoers and record buyers alike. Louis Levy.
that's the program for tonight. But we'll all be back again next week when we'll feature a great new double album release called They Played the Palladium, a veritable who's who of great stars who've appeared over the years in London's Palladium Theatre. Look forward to that in next week's program. Until then, goodbye from John West and from our producer arranger, welcome back, Tony Rasmussen. ABC Radio 1 and Radio 3. Eastern time is 10 o'clock.